Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Heaven's Bridge Tarot. My name is Nia and in today's video we will be connecting with your deceased loved ones so that they can deliver a message to you today that they really want you to hear. As you can see we have these three beautiful groups to choose from. For group number one, we have a card that says, I see all of your thoughts. And with it, we have this very unique um, crystal quartz um, arrangement. I just love it so much. I don't know what to call it. And then for group number two, we have a card that says, it is beautiful where I am. And with it, we have a beautiful rose quartz rose. And then for group number three, we have this unicorn card which says as a soul i can be in several places at once and with it we have an angel aura unicorn horn quartz crystal point that's a mouthful <laughs> but yeah guys all you need to do now as always is to focus on the loved one you would like to connect with today close your eyes take a deep breath pause the video if you have to and when you think you're ready to see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most do not overthink it let your intuition decide and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group so i will see you there Welcome to your reading, group number one, everyone who resonated with the I see all of your thoughts card and this beautiful crystal quartz arrangement. <laughs> um, so we are about to channel your deceased loved one so that they can deliver a message to you that they really want you to hear right and now. I was really called to do this reading today because of a very touching comment that I read under one of my older videos, also other things going on which really um, made me record a deceased loved one's reading for you today. Just keep in mind that not every single detail might resonate with you. Only take what does and feel peaceful about what doesn't, it will be for someone else. So let's get into it. Guys, take a deep breath with me. Open up your energies to me as a reader and to your loved ones. For a moment, if you can, just get rid of blockages that come from pain, from grief, frustration. Just picture your loved ones coming through, sitting right in front of you, listening to you. And that is the first message, is that they are listening to you. They are with you. And many of you, you might not be aware, either because you are not able to pick up on their presence, which doesn't mean they're not with you or um, because you are very new to this and you don't know much about the afterlife at all. In this case, please watch my educational videos. The link to this playlist is always in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, I'm getting very um, ethereal vibes from your loved ones, very mature, spiritually mature vibes. So for some of you, it could be that some spirit guides sneaked in as well, or that your loved one has become one of your spirit guides. They guide you and, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And everything that happens to you is based on free will of everyone involved and on things that you and your guides and everyone you would meet in this lifetime agree to and put in your karmic soul contract. So this passing, it is painful, yes, but you agreed to go through it and that is why your loved one is your guide. I'm understanding it now. You know, we come to this earth to experience the good and the bad and especially the painful lessons make us grow. This lifetime is not everything. The real life is on the other side. This is school for the soul and because we are born with spiritual amnesia, we are in so much pain and confusion, but I'm telling you, this is something you agree to and your loved one on the other side is now helping you. 
cope with it. And you will have a truly powerful spiritual awakening through this passing. If you accept and embrace the grief, you will learn so much about the afterlife. If it wasn't for you losing your loved one, you would have probably never developed an interest in the afterlife. Okay, so there is a lot going on and know that your loved ones know everything that you go through, especially your thoughts. And I want to encourage you to speak with your loved ones. Now, you're not crazy, you're not a lunatic if you speak out loud or if you speak, you know, in your thoughts, you know, that they, they can hear you, like address them. They're not gone. They're with you. And right now you might be able to feel them. You might be able to sense their presence. They agree to be with you and listen to what you have to say. But you guys make sure you listen as well to what they have to say. And I promise you that they send you signs, you know, through angel numbers, through song lyrics, through tarot readings that you stumble upon through books that you um you know see somewhere and read through movies there are so many ways that our loved ones try to reach us again i explain all of this in my educational video series and um they are saying you're going to be able to collect the pieces of the puzzle and put them together. It's all going to come together. You are going to understand. You are going to reach a point of healing, okay? Healing and understanding. If you embrace what happened, which is tough, I know. And if you are in the early stages of grief, give yourself time to feel the sadness and to purge it. But they hear all of your thoughts, they see everything you do, you are not alone. And there's a lot going on in your mind right now, but it's beautiful, okay? It's white light, so be sure that you can reach a very high level of um, understanding and enlightenment if you go through this the right way. So um, let's get some more of these beautiful cards I love so much. They're called Talking to Heaven. Um, Right, loved ones. Look, that's the stair um, way to heaven. So beautiful. Illumination. I, I am very intentionally using these colors now. The heavens blue and the white, the selenite crystals, the crystal quartz. All of that works to bring healing to the grieving and to connect with the heavens. So work with colors and crystals, loved ones. What do you want to say to group number one? Now I have no pain. So interesting because I wanted to pick this card as one of the cards representing the groups. Here it is. So they have no pain. So do not stress and worry about how they are doing. They are completely fine. Okay. And as I always keep saying, our true home is on the other side. On the other side, there is no judgment regardless of what you did. Okay. We judge ourselves in our life reviews. There is only love and um I talked on my second YouTube channel, which is always linked in the description box down below, a lot about um, the crystal palace on the other side, about angel hospitals, so to say, where um, we go to after experiencing severe trauma in our lifetimes, where we are being healed and cleansed. So they are completely fine and they do not want you to lose energy over stressing how they are doing. Okay. And blue... Why am I saying blue? Okay, wow. I wanted to say yellow, but there you go. Blue, blue flowers can actually be a sign for you. And that is so funny because um, I have a little flower bed and lots of blue flowers have popped up recently. So watch out for flowers as signs. There is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. And there is so much that you need to understand about how... Our existence on planet Earth is so limited. It's a prison. We think in linear time. We think in beginnings and endings. We are so encapsulated by physicality that we forget about where we come from. So your loved ones are saying, I am on the other side. And if you understood 
the reality and the truth of our soul existence, you would be feeling a lot better. So guys, educate yourselves on that. I have this educational video playlist. Also, The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry could be a sign for you. It talks about the rose on the other planet. I really believe that your loved one is this rose so far away from you. You miss them. You love them so much. They are kind of still what keeps you going and you're just yearning to be with them again. And they're saying, I'm right here because time and space also work differently where I am. And again, there is a good flower connection here. So flowers are for sure signs from your loved ones. I'm going to get some tarot cards next. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you appreciate it, leave a comment. Comment, Comments help so much if you don't know what to say. Leave a purple heart emoji or any other heart emoji. And if you are new and would like to join the tribe, please subscribe. I post regular content and these messages from heaven, by the way, they work for deceased loved ones as well. So watch those. Um, Ten of water. I love the rainbow. So um, the Ten of Cups always has a rainbow in it, but um, this one is very big. So rainbows are a sign for sure. It says family love blessings and your loved ones want to remind you that love never dies and that soulmates never separate. You know, you will always meet each other in every single lifetime. You have lived many lifetimes together in the past and regardless of the pain you go through that you cause each other or whatever happens, you know, the negativity. Your souls love each other. Your souls know that you um, meet in order to learn on planet Earth, but the true home is on the other side. This is school for the soul. For some people, it's boot camp, you know, and also your pets, your pets are in heaven and they can reincarnate as humans and vice versa. I teach about all of that. So um, your loved ones reunite with other soulmates on the other side. It's just, it's paradise. It's this vibe. It's this energy. And they're watching over you constantly. You are the ten of fire in the reverse. I'm getting that energy a lot. So you are stressed, imbalanced for sure, overworked. You kind of, you have a strong, a big heavy burden on your shoulders. And um, grief has certainly made it a lot worse. Um, you are struggling to cope in daily life. Your loved ones know. Your loved ones know that. But again, guys, and if this triggers you, you are on the wrong channel. I give you these truths so that you can learn. And everything I say comes from compassion because I have been through it as well. That's why I'm able to teach you these things. This pain that you are going through is something your soul chose. And once you embrace it, and once you look at it, and once you learn the lessons, it's gonna lessen, okay? And your loved ones always there, always dropping little pennies, always dropping little heart-shaped rocks, little flowers to show you, hey, I'm right beside you. But if you become a bitter person, if you allow for the grief to consume you, you are not able to see it. But they have a lot of understanding and compassion for you, obviously. They are your guide after all, but they want to help you pick yourselves off the kitchen counter, so to say. Get on your feet again. Ten of air in the reverse. They are saying it is not your time to leave yet. I know you are craving to leave. You want to be with them, but that would be you wasting this opportunity in the school of life. And if you waste it, you're going to have to go through it again. I'm giving you tough love here because your loved ones would give you that tough love. They are a spirit guide, all right? So you will recover from this pain, whether you believe it or not, if you embrace it, if you sit with it. People always want to get rid of anything that is negative immediately. They want to swallow this magic pill and get rid of it, but then it will always come back and haunt you, no matter what it is. If it's physical, mental or emotional illness, okay, it's always going to come back. There is no magic pill. 
The only thing that truly works is to embrace the pain, to look at it, to sit with it, and then to learn from it. And you can. And now is the divine timing for your awakening in that sense. And if you do, if you take these steps, the signs your loved one sends are going to become so strong and evident. You're going to really heal. You're going to be feeling motivated and encouraged. And, you know, you're going to have a completely different outlook on life. You can do it. Free yourselves from this prison of pain. Guys, if I can do it, you can do it too. And something beautiful might come from it. Like for me, it's this channel helping other grieving people. I don't know what's going to happen for you. I'm going to end your reading with some brand new oracle cards that Lori sent. She also sent this crystal. Thank you, Lori. If anyone else would like to send in some crystals or cards, I have an Amazon wishlist link down below. I love the vibe. I love these colors. If you are subscribed to my second channel, you will have seen them in a short that I recorded. Oh, wow. What's going on? <laughs> you know what? Face your fears. I, I was considering choosing one of these cards as um, to represent the groups. And I wanted to pick this one. And if a card wants to be seen, it will always make its way back into the reading face your fears release the power of fear guys face your grief that is something a spirit guide would tell you anyone else who pretends to be a spiritual teacher and who tells you no you don't have to feel anything uncomfortable you can just manifest bliss and they lie to you they want to exploit you and profit of your pain okay you need to wake up you are blindfolded how do you wake up you face what happened and you educate yourselves i would have never um, gained the knowledge i do have right now if i didn't face what the incredible trauma i experienced um, from the age of four till 15 and losing my father in a very horrific way i faced it i embraced it i learned from it my psychic abilities really um, peaked due to it and I'm now able to communicate with my dad almost as if he was here. You can do the same, but it doesn't come from um, staying asleep to the pain. Oh my God, there is this rose, guys, and I did want to say that. So if you feel called to watch group number two as well, then definitely do. We have the rose here twice, so watch pile number two after this if you want. If you don't feel it, then also shooting stars are a sign, guys. Your loved ones send you little signs all the time. Mine, my cat sent me a shooting star twice in a row. So these things are real. Enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. If you're still watching, this is your treat. It's really confirming everything I say. We have the rainbow energy and you know what's happening right now with the solar activity that is causing these northern lights and these um, prism, rainbow prism effects in the clouds during daytime. That is a sign that the angelic realms are penetrating through the thick layers of deception and um, blockage here on planet Earth. Many people go through severe pain right now globally, but it is for a good reason. It is for awakening, guys, and you can reach severe levels of enlightenment if you pursue growth, if you um, choose healing over surrender okay do not give up and you are a wise old soul that's why so much pain is happening to you and i know you don't like to hear that but it's the truth and it gets better if you remind yourselves that you know um planet earth is not it we think it's it but um our true home is on the other side that's where eternity is this is just a glimpse resilience rise above tribulations we have the stair um case again <laughs> to heaven and you can rise above this grief you can do it if you if your soul didn't know that you were absolutely capable and equipped to heal from this you would not be going through this because nothing ever happens that is more than we can handle okay you got this your loved one spirit guides are telling you, you got this, you are strong, you can have a miracle, you can learn, you can rise above if you are resilient and consistent with this energy work and your loved ones will help you. They will show you the right spiritual teachers. 
the right anything that you need, okay? You just be open. And I'm reminded of Cinderella here. So, and I'm hearing a love story. So that could be a sign for you. And, you know, love never dies. That is my motto on this channel. It never, ever, ever dies. And can you hear that? There's a horse um, coach on um, the street outside. So there is a Cinderella miracle, magical God, fairy godmother thing here that will resonate maybe only for one. Let me know um, if it does for you. So this is all that I have in this reading. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Take very good care. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye. Welcome to your reading, group number two. Everyone resonated with the gorgeous um, rose quartz rose and this It is Beautiful Where I Am card. So we are about to connect with your deceased loved ones so that they can say something to you that they really need for you to hear. Um, and I'm sensing that the collective theme of this reading is kind of that um, many of you are in some kind of negativity and pain and um, your loved ones want to take care of you okay they're always watching over you they can always hear you that is why things like these readings work just keep in mind that this is for the collective so not every single detail might resonate with you only take what does and feel peaceful about what doesn't it will be for someone else so this incredibly beautiful rose was sent to me by a very beautiful soul, Yasmin, Katrin, thank you if you're watching. Um, and I feel so much love from this. Um, Yasmin, she's a very incredibly thoughtful, supportive view of mine. She really touched my heart with her encouragement. And this energy, her intention that came with this beautiful gift is kind of um, stored in this rose. And your loved one's intention is also to give you encouragement when you are down. Because I believe this was sent to me when I was really, I felt very attacked by some viewers on my other channel. And then this beautiful gift of, of love came through. So if you are feeling attacked right now, and I'm not talking about these personal stories because I want to talk about myself. I use them as examples. Most of you know and appreciate that. So if you are going through something where you feel attacked and there are kind of nasty people around you, you are not alone. There is someone in heaven on the other side rooting for you. But they want to defeat this nastiness, not by being overly defensive and, you know, having the same kind of energy defending you. No, they kind of defend you using actual pure love. Pure love is very delicate, is very high vibrational. You know, if you, if you see waves, you know, delicate, pure, unconditional love is here. Density is here and any ego driven action is very dense, like being viciously defensive over someone and then becoming, you know, aggressive um, themselves. That is dense. Your loved ones are here. So they send love and they know that that will get you out of this density. I hope you can follow me because where they are, it is so beautiful. They understand and see things from a higher perspective. They have been enlightened. They know that most aggressive people are indeed, you know, sad people. And that is uh, common psychology. The base of aggression is always sadness. Um, and uh, they are in paradise. That is why their heart also is kind of, you know, angelic and... Um, paradise in their heart so all they send you is like paradise vibes i hope that makes sense to you when i see this golden light here on the horizon so beautiful they want to surround you and wrap you up in golden and pink light so if you see that light it could very well be that you do it might have a natural cause like a sunset or sunrise um, or it might not if you see it trust and believe it's your loved ones wrapping you 
in this light of love and that's how they will help you get rid of some nasty interference if you don't have any person in particular giving you a hard time which i hope is true for most of you then it could be just society you know or your own negative thinking patterns um and I don't want to give this negative entity any energy, so I'm just going to briefly mention it. But I had to do a little Archangel cleanse before this reading because I heard a very aggressive voice say, a shameless grifter. I, I did get rid of that entity. I don't know what that is and if it resonates with you. Have you been called a shameless grifter? Is there a very possessive materialistic energy? They could already be in spirit. Um, this is tied to inheritance and or possessions and belongings, a very um, possessive individual coming through. So don't take them seriously, ignore them, wrap yourselves up in light. That's how you get rid of them. Don't react. Don't react to it. Okay, loved ones, beautiful loved ones, beautiful, beautiful, loving loved ones. What's your message for group number two? They they see your tears, okay? So you might have been crying a lot because someone has been very toxic and mean to you. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. This is such a strong message for those of you who came back from group number one. I literally said putting the pieces of the puzzle together to understand that everything happens for a reason. So you guys, you might want to watch group number one as well if you felt drawn to it. But yeah, you will understand that the nasty people are in your life for a reason because everything happens for our higher learning. The more that we embrace the dark side and look at it, the better we can deal with it. And that's how we can escape it, you know, transmute it. Again, there is a greenish vibe in the clouds. I'm just a thought away. This is so close to group number one. Look, they're always with you. They can always hear you. They see these negative clouds that are surrounding you, but you're not alone. And I know this sounds so stereotypical, but it does work. And it's the only thing that works. It all changes when you change your perspective. Don't let this density um consume you don't become like the people who attack you don't become like them rise above that density okay and how can you do that well just by you know observing what happens by not becoming part of the problem by not reacting just step away and connect with your loved ones go outside do some mindful breathing exercises be in nature go for walks and i see this friendly little pet here you might have a pet around you and pets are naturally psychic so they know what's going on but they are also a soulmate you know giving you happiness and comfort and you also might have a pet on the other side and they have in fact never left your side because pets especially are loyal to us beyond death so the more you see that the more intense the signs will be that they give you i love that energy <laughs> Um, guys, if you love the reading, if, if you want to support me, if you want to see more like this, please leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you don't know what to say, you should probably uh, leave a purple heart and a rose emoji. And if you are new and would like to join the tribe, please subscribe. Loved ones, what more do you have to say? They are so gentle. Even if they were not gentle as a human being they are now very gentle because they learned that um you know aggression is density and it doesn't help the lovers relationships emotions and choices so this is the pure love energy coming through from the other side the pure unconditional love and you know true love knows no gender knows no race knows no anything dense okay our souls choose a different 
costume for each lifetime. So if you are a black person in this lifetime, you have not always been a black person you and you won't always be. If you are male in this life, you won't always be that and you haven't always been that. We change our profession, our gender, our ethnicity, um, our relationships, we change it because only if we can embrace ourselves, regardless of any outer circumstance, and if we can love our soulmates, regardless of the circumstances and of how they choose to represent themselves, only then have we reached unconditional love. Okay? That is why I have such a problem with the modern term twin flame. It goes exactly against what I have just described. Okay, true love is unconditional. They are giving you unconditional love. They love you regardless of what you go through and how ugly maybe you can be sometimes. True love forgives everything. Six of Earth. Charity generosity went for. So there is definitely this energy of... That I felt in the beginning that there is some kind of um I don't know nasty I don't want to say nasty but someone doesn't want the other one to have something material so this could be about um inheritance or maybe there is a situation where some of you go through um divorce or um, custody and your child's partner doesn't want to support you and the child financial financially um, there is some confrontation in the physical that is kind of tied to uh, finances or like earthly matters and um, someone is lacking generosity someone is lacking charity i mean it, maybe it's your insurance that doesn't want to help you go through a health battle or something um I want to see what the message here is of comfort. Someone's saying it will get better. Loved ones, please guide me to a card. What's the advice? Three of air, look. Okay, sorrow, forgiveness, healing. Forgiveness does not mean that you need to approve of something negative and be like, hey, that's brilliant. No, it means that you accept it because only if you accept it, only then can you heal and move forward. So if someone just chooses to be not generous, to be not caring, to be not loving, there is nothing you can do apart from moving on and accepting it. And look, you are not alone. You might have been neglected, stabbed in the back by people who owe you something, okay? But you just need to let it go. And the more you do, the more of these angelic vibes can come through and give you a blessing that is just waiting somewhere else. So don't stay focused on this negative situation. Is It just can't happen because there is free will and this third party that doesn't want to be kind to you, you can't change their free will. So just let it go and let God and trust that if you do, a blessing can come through just from a different source, okay? And practice forgiveness in the way that I have just explained. It heals your wounds. It heals your spiritual wounds. And healing spiritual wounds can help heal physical health issues. I'm not a doctor, just giving spiritual advice. Most of you understand this. Um, let's get these brand new wonderful oracle cards from Lori. I don't know if I said this, but I have an Amazon wishlist link if anyone else would like to send something in for the community. Resilience. There is such a strong connection here uh, with group number one and two. So be resilient. You will rise above these tribulations. It will get better, but definitely move on and walk away from it. Okay. You need to walk away from the pain. Don't dwell on it. Do not dwell on the pain. You need to walk away from it. You just need to let go. Because if you persist, then it's only going to harm you. And there's such strong spirit guide energy here. Uh, by the way, um, if you are familiar, I don't know how many people will be familiar with um, kind of German folklore. Um do you know what a Wolpertinger is? That is a um, kind of mythical animal. It lives in the forest 
And um, there are actually, you know, figures in, in the south of Germany. And I don't know if that's the case in Austria as well. Austrians tell me, you know, where um, old taverns have these mythical animals um, and they have, you know, body parts from all different animals. And it, the legend goes that they hide in the woods and they imitate voices of either humans or other animals to kind of lure you in. And then actually, I don't know what the tale is, what they do to you. They make, they want to make you get lost in the woods, I believe. So don't fall for any trickery. If this nasty person comes back with a um, supposedly um, seemingly um, nice gesture, don't trust it. Okay, don't trust it. Don't give second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth chances. No, you're done. Move on that resonates with you do that if not it's not your message money oh my god find a way to abundance there is something about money you know maybe the lesson you need to learn here is to um not be so reliant on financial things which i know is easier said than done but if you shift your focus okay on what truly matters everything you're lacking will become abundant so I once had given up on this channel right here completely. And that's when my uh, views and likes and subscribers peaked in an unprecedented way. So the more you let go, the more it will grow. Also, um, watch out for songs as signs from your loved ones. They give you very wise information with this owl and the instrument through songs, song lyrics. angel of miracles you will have a miracle okay um open your heart and expect a miracle i'm so happy to see that here that's what i promised you guys i promise you your loved ones promise you if you let go if you let god if you forgive if you move on if you change your perspective that's when you open up a portal to miracles from heaven and you have so many loving beings in heaven rooting for you guys by the way all of my readings that are titled a message from someone in heaven of course include deceased loved ones so don't hesitate to watch them okay but you have angels the divine all rooting for you and they want to help you so if you do everything you have been told you will have a proper big miracle and this angel baby here i get that information <laughs> so much on both channels could very well be a life that is about to be born into your life so maybe you're expecting a child maybe a baby pet i don't know what this could be let me know if you want to but this is all that i have for you in today's reading please leave a thumbs up if it helped you take very good care stay blessed and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye welcome to your reading group number three everyone who resonated with the unicorn um card that says as a soul i can be in several places at once and this angel aura unicorn horn a crystal point which is one of my absolute favorites so we are about to connect with your deceased loved ones so that so that they can tell you something that they really need you to hear right now just keep in mind it's a reading for the collective and not every single detail might resonate with you only take what does and feel peaceful about what doesn't it will just be for someone else um I'm picking up on the energies of uh, some of your loved ones or, you know, the loved ones that vibe with the energies that are represented by this card and the crystal. Some of your loved ones, they would hum a lot and sing or maybe whistle and they would they would say sentences, but singing them out because I just felt drawn called to do that. I was just, it will be for someone else. Da, da, da. So if that's your loved one, they're coming through strongly and also sing, sing. This might be a message from the collective of angelic beings and your loved ones. Sing it out. Do some vocal cord exercises and some breathing techniques. And funnily enough, I was just discussing that with my mother yesterday because I really want to get some singing bowls and I might use them for my channels. So um, I might be trying some exciting new things if you are interested. Singing bowls, sound frequency is really the future of healing. And if you let your 
body vibrate using your voice. You can get rid of severe blockages. That's also what, um, you know, my lovely Indians work with a lot. They chant mantras and there are mantras that are connected to each of the chakras of the energy points in the body. And when you speak them, you cause vibration in that part and that will um, enable healing, spiritual and physical healing. So um, do that. Look into that, please. Look into sound frequency healing. Uh, look up what chakra you think might be blocked. Look up the sound frequency frequency that is associated with it and then play that music but if you feel resistance to that music then like pick a different one you really have to have this immediate feeling of yeah that sounds good okay and I just need to say I'm not a doctor I'm just a medium giving spiritual advice all of you know that except for a few people who, who don't um, but let's focus on the good stuff. Uh, can you see that rainbow uh, reflection here on the angel aura quartz? I love it so much. I really hope you can watch out for rainbows. And I kid you not, when I started to record this reading, I saw a rainbow light here on the wall and the sun's not out. So it can't come from my um, crystals, my window crystals. Watch out for these rainbow lights. The heavens use them a lot right now, causing these color effects in the sky due to solar activity. Rainbows are a sign. And your loved ones, they are everywhere. They are like a magical unicorn. They can be in several places at once. And this is funny because I wanted to do kind of an educational video. I have a very important playlist educating you about everything you need to know when it comes to the afterlife and overcoming grief okay i wanted to do another one like that um explaining to you how can mediums or even like regular people receive signs of communication from loved ones who are maybe long gone and already reincarnated it is because time and space do not work the way they do on planet earth Okay, in reality, there is no time and space so a soul can be incarnated right now in human form. But at the same time, family of this soul's past life can communicate with them. Can you follow me? Do you understand what I mean? Or a loved one can be present with you right now, but they can also be present with another person trying to communicate with them. So just embrace magic. And, you know, society is slowly waking up to these um, truths that bring so much healing. And I don't know, your, your loved ones are truly magical. I think they do a lot on the other side and I always say this because it is true because I've experienced it myself if you had a very strong and important soul bond with a loved one and they left you and you think it's the worst timing ever for some people the reason could be they left you because they can do so much more for you in spirit than what they would have been able to do being in a limited body okay expect some magic here expect the sun coming out of a very foggy dark sky and uh you probably can't hear that but there is again like horses trotting on the street do you hear that click clack that's a sign guys maybe you have a strong horse connection like myself maybe you love horses maybe you ride horses maybe your loved ones use horses as a sign they are such sacred spiritual animals in many uh, cultures so i would not be surprised wow i feel healthy and happy so do not worry about your loved ones their soul is free i don't know what they were dealing with maybe they went through some severe illness or other trauma that is tied to the physical body they left it they are now in their true soul essence and they are so empowered and so free and because they radiate in that free and happy um, frequency they can come through and reach you in your darkness more than they would have been able to do if they were still in their body guys embrace these things they bring so much healing 
I have no more earthly worries. So they really want to ease your mind. This is for those of you who are so worried. How is my loved one doing that they make it to the light? Are they still, I don't know, tied to the trauma they went through? Nope. They are just pure happiness. They are free like this unicorn. They are so strong and empowered right now. You know, they are fully recharged, fully healed. And they for sure send you sunshine, maybe. Guys, watch out for sunshine. If it's a cloudy day and all of a sudden the clouds kind of open up and a single ray of sun hits you, that's your loved one doing that for you or similar things um sunflowers they are a sign and i love that in french sunflowers are named sun turners they turn to where the sun is guys so please turn to where the sun is look at the happiness and the happiness is that your loved ones and this includes a lot of pets are now free and happy and ask for them to let you feel their happiness you can do that that will give you a boost for sure. If this reading makes you happy, then please support me. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you don't know what to say, leave a unicorn emoji and a purple heart. And if you are new and would like to join the tribe, please subscribe. If you want to see more, I'll only do it if this reading is well received. Because, you know, I do what people want to see. Now let's get some... Tarot. Also something about diamonds and tears. Is that like a, a quote from a song? Diamonds and tears. Tear diamonds. Let me know if you want to. Wise counselor. Belonging, learning traditions. There is a very strong collective energy going through all of my piles today. If you come from group number two, this is your confirmation that you are in the right group again so you know your loved ones your angels your spirit team they are wise counselors guiding you through this pain and also a message if you listened to a person whose advice you sought regarding your loved ones or your pets final journey on earth your loved one is saying thank you for listening to that wise person. So this is very specific. For example, if you sought someone's advice and opinion about whether you should allow for your pet to be set free and go through heaven, go to heaven, your pet is saying thank you so much for putting my physical well-being, my emotional happiness over your connection that you feel to me thank you for allowing me to be free and maybe it could be a similar situation with your uh, loved one in human form okay if you listen to wise advice and it resulted in you not prolonging your loved one's suffering but setting them free they are saying thank you and they are encouraging you to you know continue listening to wise counselors um what whoever that might be okay it might be a spiritual teacher like me it might be religion there is so much truth in all religion okay um i don't know what it is just keep on learning it will heal you and your loved ones will send you the right people to do that and i love that she is wearing a purple robe here purple is tied to the eye third eye chakra so visions Nine of fire in the reverse. This is about healing, guys. Protection, preparedness, resilience. So, and she's holding a rose here. Have you watched group number two? If you haven't, you should. The rose is coming up everywhere. Even in group number one, it made an appearance, several appearances. So your loved ones, if they suffered, they are free, obviously pain-free, completely pain-free. And they want to help you go through the same transformation, but on earth. They want for you to heal from whatever pain you have. And they're saying, please don't give up, don't give in and um, know that you are protected, especially if you are going through some health scares right now. Any physical symptom has a spiritual root cause. Most people are waking up to this. All 
traditional paths of medicine work with that, especially, you know, Chinese medicine. Our Western medicine is, I better shut up about that, but guys, you should, you should embrace your pain, work on it and know that it will heal your physical pain as well. Still go see a doctor. I'm not keeping you from doing that. And know that your loved ones, they are protecting you that it won't get worse. Okay, it won't get worse. And they will point you in the right direction when it comes to you trying to find ways to heal um, your body. Especially, you know, not common modern ways of doing that. Night of Water. Romantic, emotional, dramatic. Aren't these flowers called forest rose or something? I have them in uh, the forest next to my house. Just where I enter my fairy forest, that's where I have these flowers. Let me know what they're called. But anyway, um, the energy um, your loved ones have is that of a very sweet and emotional, loving, helpful soul. They could have been a male looking like that. They could have been a romantic other, but I'm also getting incredibly loyal and sweet pet vibes here. Like your loyal cat or dog or even a bird or a guinea pig. I don't know. They love you. They want to be there for you. And guys, he has a horse here on his chest. It's not where the heart is, but it doesn't matter. The horse. So the love you share drives these souls to be there for you and to help you. They want to help you fall in love with life again, find love again, love your body again and be uplifted. And they are very, um, you know, I mean, of course, most souls being in spirit are very like automatically spiritual and psychic, but your loved ones especially have a strong way to reach you through readings or whatever thing you do to communicate with them um, and they really 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 love you and they send you these rays of sun you know watch out for these rays of sunlight i'm gonna get some final beautiful brand new oracle cards now to finish off your reading love the vibe if you want to send in some cards an amazon wishlist link down below and guys, by the way, all of my readings titled Messages from Someone in Heaven obviously include your deceased loved ones. So watch them. I feel so many loved ones coming through there as well as angels and guys, the divine. Don't miss out on them. Legends, learn from those who inspire you. So um, there is so much truth, not just in religion, but also in legends and myths, you know. People didn't just invent those. There is so much truth to um, fairy tales, especially, okay? But anyway, your loved ones help you find people and teachers who inspire you. So trust and believe that if you're feeling really down and you discover this self-help book and it really resonates with you. If you're feeling really lost, some people tell me that you miss your loved one so much and then you get a notification and my reading pops up. Guys, that is no coincidence. It's your loved ones helping you being this knight of water. And I don't know what gender your loved ones were in their past life that they just lost gender doesn't matter so much it's all about the energies okay and they will help you um so that you will continue to learn they will send many wise people on your path yay children now that your children are protected um tiger lily tiger lily isn't that a thing i see lily is someone here named lily um there's a girl in a purple dress. She kind of looks like me, to be honest. Um, but anyway, like, take the symbols that resonate with you. Your children are safe. Or if you are this loved one's child, you are safe. Like, they feel so loyal and protective over you as if you were that child. Or you know how some dogs can be so protective over toddlers and babies. They love you. They will always protect you. And they feel very um, strongly about their purpose now on the other side lots of fire energy okay and um, again there is this message about maybe potentially you receiving a child coming into your life 
If you don't care about my personal story, skip ahead. But I just want to tell you how that resonates with me personally. I'm not pregnant or anything. But I kept on receiving this message on my second channel, always linked in the description box, that my viewers would receive a child. A child would come into their life. A child, a child, a rainbow child, an indigo child, a special, special child. And you don't have to necessarily become a physical parent to receive this child in your life. And not too long ago, my cousin's daughter, which in Germany makes her my niece, visited. And we bonded so strongly. We love each other so much. She's only six, but we um, talked to through her mother's phone and she came into my life and she's definitely a rainbow child. So like be so open as to how these children can um, reach you. They are coming through and they are higher vibrational souls helping us heal. I'm so grateful to her. So I don't know who this child is for you. Dragonfly, live life to the fullest. The dragonfly is a very powerful spiritual messenger, a very psychic one. So trust all the signs you receive. They are all messages from your loved ones. Again, whether that's song lyrics or just your emotions or your visions, your dreams, physical sensations. I educate you about that in my educational playlist, you know. Trust and believe it comes from your loved ones. And the more um, you believe, the more you see, the more you will receive. Also, there's this creek in the forest, which is the eternal stream of life and going with the flow. You know, the path might sometimes be extremely rocky, guys, and it's not linear, but you will get there. That's another message from your loved ones. And watch out for dragonflies. They are signs. If you see a dragonfly, on a tarot card, an oracle card, on a book, on a t-shirt, in a song, I don't know. Embrace it and really listen and look closely, okay? So, well, that's all that I have for you in this reading. I really hope you loved it. Leave a thumbs up if that's the case. Take very good care and I hope I'll see you again very soon. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.